left her on her wedding day but what happened next is a lesson for every unfaithful lover Ryan was around 20 years old when he met the love of his life Ruby Ruby was 18 years old and was very beautiful Ryan fell in love with her charming face but Ruby was already in love with someone Ryan couldn't stop thinking about her and he felt that expressing out his love will ruin their friendship he thought he would never be able to win her after a few years ryan got to know that ruby broke up with her boyfriend ryan wanted to make the most of this chance to win ruby's heart he always respected her feelings even though he knew about the infidelity of her boyfriend i remember how she cried over her breakup I couldn't see her that way. After a few weeks, Ruby started feeling better, and it seemed she forgot her ex. One day, Ryan decided to tell her about his feelings. He went to Ruby's house and expressed his love for her. Ryan was afraid of the rejection, but Ruby gladly said yes. It was the happiest day of Ryan's life, and finally he got the love of her life. Ryan did everything to make his relationship perfect with Ruby. He would do anything to make her happy. Ryan always surprised her with gifts. No matter how much she wanted, Ryan always kept her happiness as his priority. He even bought flight tickets for Ruby's parents. Ruby promised Ryan to be always with him till death do them part. They seemed happy together. and they decided to get married they invited over their parents friends and relatives for the wedding everything was going great with wedding preparation but something happened a week before the wedding ruby seemed off ryan asked her hey baby is everything all right with you ruby replied honey it's just your imagination It's just all these preparations are exhausting. I'm fine, don't worry. I'm eagerly waiting for our wedding day. Finally, it was their wedding day. Ryan was all suited up. He wore the expensive suit gifted by his father. Everyone was happy and excited about the marriage. All the family members and friends including Ryan were waiting for the bride's entry. Ryan was curious to see Ruby in her wedding dress. Hours passed, but there was no sign of Ruby. In some time, Ruby's car arrived. Everyone started applauding for the bride's entry. But Ruby wasn't there in the car. It was just the driver. Everyone was in shock to see this. Ryan couldn't understand what was happening. The driver handed a letter to Ryan. The letter said, "Forgive me, Ryan. I'm still in love with my ex-boyfriend, and I recently patched up with him. I couldn't marry anyone except him. I don't have enough courage to face you, so I have written it in the letter." Everyone felt sad for Ryan after hearing that letter. All the guests started to leave as they realized that there would be no wedding. Ryan was in pain as the love of his life betrayed him. Ryan couldn't understand what went wrong. He did everything for her, but still she left him. Ryan's parents hugged him and they were crying. Ryan rushed to Ruby's house to question her about what she did. She was there and Ryan asked her, "Why? How could you do this to me?" I was the happiest man a day before and now I'm completely heartbroken. I have done everything for your happiness but still you broke my heart. Ruby didn't say anything about this and asked him to leave. Ryan left her place with tears. He went places with his parents to forget about her but nothing made him happy. 2 years later something unexpected happened. Ryan was relaxing in his home and suddenly there was a knock on his door. He opened the door 
and he was surprised to see Ruby in front of him. She said, I was a fool to betray you. I have always loved you and I want you to take me back in your life. Ryan was in shock to hear that. He didn't understand what was happening, whether it was a dream or a reality. Ryan accepted her and admitted that wasn't able to forget her. Ruby said, My ex-boyfriend deceived me again. I was stupid to believe him. I love you, Ryan, and I want to marry you. Everything will be done your way. I would do anything to correct my mistake. Marry me, Ryan. Ryan agreed to her proposal and said yes. Ryan wanted the wedding to be simple. They selected the date and time, invited their family and friends. Her parents flew from Nevada to New York for the wedding. Everything was set and prepared. Finally, the day came and everyone was excited about the wedding. Ruby arrived first this time. She was excited to see her groom, Ryan. But Ryan didn't come. Finally, a car arrived and the driver gave Ruby a letter. She thought it's some joke and Ryan was planning to surprise her. When she read the letter, she started crying. The letter said, You came to my house after two years as if nothing happened. He left you, so you came back when I was trying to get over you. You gave me pain, an unbearable pain. I wasn't feeling myself for the past two years. I thought you would come and say you made a mistake, but you never came. I cried every day for you, now you are crying. Aren't you? Now you know my pain. Do not look for me, do not call me. You told me you wouldn't marry anyone expect your ex-boyfriend, so go and look for him. I don't exist for you, leave me alone. Goodbye. Moral. This is a lesson that we should not play with other people's feelings. You reap what you sow. Sooner or later, you're going to pay for what you did. And remember that karma exists.